hello look what i was awarded last night in group amazing greatest loser for losing the most amount of weight for the whole of last year which was five stone nine pounds um so yeah really chuffed i'm gonna put my little sticker if i can do it while holding the phone excuse me i had to go onto the front of my book. Wow, it's a big sticker in here. Because <laughs> uh, the back is full. Um, yeah, so five stone, nine pounds in 11, well, in 10 months that was. So it's 11 months now and I'm still there because I've kind of had Christmas and my birthday off. But I also won the raffle. I haven't won the raffle for a long time since I first started and I'm so glad because I wanted to try these one. I had two last night. They are amazing. Really like those. Never had these bagel thins. I'm assuming they're your healthy extra B, one of those, are they? I don't know. I have to have a look that up on the app. Um, everyone in group has always gone on about these and I could never find them. So I'll be trying those probably with... Primula light, I like, a few pickled onions, tomatoes, and slur is my go-to drink if I'm um, at um, somewhere having dinner and they're all drinking wine with their dinner. I can't drink alcohol, uh, I've not been able to drink for about three years, it just, my body reacts horrendously. Last time I drank some fruity cider, uh, which I I'd always drunk without a problem. Uh, my face all swelled up, my mouth and my tongue just from one sip. Scared me to death. Before that, I'd been having issues anyway with flushing and stuff, which is quite common. But, oh, that was horrendous. I pr proper swelled up. So, yeah, I just don't drink now. So slur is my sort of go-to pretending I'm drinking in a fancy glass drink. So now that they do a zero one, I wanted to try that. Um, can never have enough fry lights. So yeah, I was quite pleased with that. So I had a good night at group. I did put on half a pound, <laughs> but that was expected. I had two weeks off over my birthday. We ate out a lot. I reckon... Weighing at home, I'd put on about five pound. <clears throat> so I did quite well just to have a half a pound gain, and that's fine. I think that's my third half a pound gain in the whole of 11 months. So, yeah, it's pretty amazing, really. But, yeah, I'm going to get that stuck on my wall with the others. But, yeah, I'm really pleased. That's me with Miss Sash on. So I had lots of running around to do. I'd sold a couple of tops on Vinted, so I took that to the news agents to be sent off. Um, then we had to go into town uh, to Tesco's for my son to get a haircut. I'd been looking for this actor now that was no sugar, no fat, and managed to find it in there, and it was on a club card bargain, so that was handy. Uh, also got some sushi for lunch. I was starving. That's three sins. Love it. So I've just got back from Tesco's and literally this little lot plus a few toiletries, just some shower gel, um, a 12 pack of toilet rolls, a shampoo, some toothpaste and I never buy the you know most expensive stuff, I kind of go middle of the road stuff but all this shopping with my Tesco club card discount, came to £113. And there's hardly anything here. Really, it's disgusting, isn't it? There's also an egg shortage, by the way, if you wasn't already aware. But yeah, I've got my um, Actimel that I was looking for. I bought some at the weekend, but they wasn't, I didn't realize they did ones with no added sugar or fat. Um, so my son can have those. He's a growing teenager. So he can have the ones with all the fat in. And I got these ones. I've no idea if they do anything 
but um, yeah, I thought I'd give them a go. I've never used them before, and they're one and a half cents each. These, um, but yeah, I just literally got just a few bits to keep me going. Really, over the weekend, I'm going to have roast chicken on Sunday. Um, I bought some mints, 5% mints, because I'm going to make some meatballs with my JD seasonings on Saturday. Um, these aren't mine, these will be for my son. He's making fish fingers at school this week, so I have to get fish because I never have fish in. Um, yeah, but £113. Not good. So, I've got to put this on my wall with all my others. I hate this because I sound like I'm bragging, but I'm really not. But I just thought I would show it on here. This is inside my pantry. I'm still, <laughs> still inside my pantry at the minute. Stick these to the wall. So that's to there. My little duck. My greedy duck. And then we go over the other side of the door. Sinky. I didn't get a certificate for, I got Woman of the Year as well. I didn't get a certificate for that. I have to ask my consultant. And then, I'm gonna stick this one here. So that's all of them, so far. Six stone is the next one. By the end of February, I've got four weigh-ins to get five pound off. <laughs> Will I do it? Don't know. We've got half term. That's always a tricky one. But I'm hoping to up my exercise. So wish me luck. Right. So the shopping's away. I am gonna quickly. Have a wipe round, hoover, quick mop, a quick surface tidy, basically. That's all I've got time for. Um, the weather's looking a bit iffy. I don't know if you see the clouds out there. It looks like it's going to rain and it's really windy and freezing cold. So I'm not sure if... Um, I'll walk the dog because I don't know. I've still got to go and pick my son up yet from where he is. Do the whole mum taxi thing. Um, yeah, and I want to make some food as well. <laughs> Prepare for the next couple of days um, to keep me on track. If I have things ready in the fridge, I need to sit down actually with my pad, come up with a plan for the next few days make sure that I lose this five pounds by the end of the month so I got some body magic in by um, hoovering mopping and dusting the whole house um, upstairs and downstairs I hate this carpet so much uh, but upstairs yeah, I realised I did get a Woman of the Year sash. I just didn't get the certificate. Um, I think there was a certificate that should have come with it. But, yeah, so I've got two sashes now. Um, and then I went on to... I was going to clear this of all the washing and ironing. But some of the stuff was still wet. So I just actually left it. I was going to do a before and after picture. Um, and then I had to recharge my ring doorbell. Not that you need to see this, but I thought I'd film it. <laughs> Plug it in to charge it. I'm not sure how long it takes to charge, to be honest. Um, yep. And then, oh, my uh, wax burner, my favourite wax burner, went pop the other day. It was the bulb has gone on it. So I've ordered a new bulb from Amazon. They're about £8. Um, and I changed it. Plugged it in, still wouldn't work. So I think it's the burner that's uh, gone. Yes, yeah, so I'm really annoyed. I paid eight pounds for a bulb, and it's still not working. I'm gonna have to buy a new burner. 
I do love a wax melt. It's not the only burner I've got, I've got loads, but I do like this one. Yes, it's me changing the bulb and then it didn't work anyway. But I have this spray. Oh my God, rhubarb and rose. It just smells absolutely amazing. It is so strong. So, so nice. And then I had a cup of coffee. Thought it was uh, break time. And I love this Bob Milk. It skims, you know, 300 ml for your healthy extra A. And it tastes really lovely. Quite creamy, I think. It's very, very nice. But yeah, well deserved cup of coffee. I have one sweetener in my coffee as well. I was going to sit down and read the magazine, but I didn't. Um, I then had to go and pick my son up. Okay. But look at my poor little dog. Okay. He hates the car. Okay? Look at him shaking. Shaking. Okay. Oh, I can't bear it. Good boy. Right, the time now is six o'clock. And this is not my normal type of day, food-wise. All I've had this morning, I had an Actimel and a banana. Um, and then when we was out, I had that little pack of sushi uh, for three sins. So that is all I've had. Oh, it's just been a busy, busy day. But I'm going to make for my dinner. I've seen, I think it was on TikTok. Like you kind of do an omelette thing um, in a pan and you put your bread in there, put your <coughs> toppings on and then you kind of like fold it up and it's like a toasted eggy sandwich. I'm going to do that with a bit of salad on the side for my speed and I might do some Slimming World chips in the air fryer. Um, yeah, because I am starving so... A big dinner. Can I have some No. Why? So it's mine. Might as well use all of those. Sharon is caring, Mum. No. Sharon is caring. So I had no idea what I was doing here, whether to do the bread first or the egg first. So I literally just broke two eggs into a smallish frying pan and then just broke the yolk and moved them around a little bit, mixed them in like that. And then I put two slices of King's Mill no crust wholemeal bread. You can have three slices for your healthy extra B. And it's probably my favourite bread apart from Warburton's wholemeal pitta. Um, it's lovely and soft, it's not dry, and you can have three slices. So I literally put that in the egg in the pan and then turns it over as well let it cook for a little bit I then put some um, shredded ham hock on top of the bread and that's free and I also put uh, light cheese slices on it put my little dog watching me. I've always got one of the dogs. I've got three dogs. I've always got one of them <laughs> standing there watching me. And the fish. If you can see him in the background. But literally the cheese slices you can have three for your healthy extra A. I'm not really a lover of these ones. I think they were dairy light ones. I think I, I don't know. They're in the previous clip the packaging. But they're so white. Um, yeah, they weren't my favourite ones, but literally put them on top of the ham, which was on top of the bread. Four 
folded in the um, edge of the egg over the bread. I thought, oh, this is all going to fall apart. It's not going to end well. I've never made this before. Yeah, so fold it over the edges of the egg and then flips over one slice of the bread on top of the other. It was like a sandwich. And then just let that cook. So it was a nice golden colour really. It's quite sturdy, so all that smoke is bits of the egg that was kind of stuck around the edge of the pan. It's not my food burning. So I put some salad on my plate for speed. I had Stimming World chips in the air fryer, they were cooking. We'll turn it over. plum tomatoes they're probably my favorite tomatoes because they're a little bit sweeter than cherry tomatoes i normally go for plum See that, doesn't it? Look nice. Oh, and then I decided to get rid of the egg that was <laughs> stuck to the side of the pan because it was smoking quite a lot. You can't really see the smoke on this video, but it was smoking quite a bit, so I got rid of that. to play up now. Shall I show you? Oh yeah. Look at that. Does that look nice? Then got the chips out of the air fryer. They're quite handy to have these in the world chips. Um I just used the rest of what was in the bag, so I think I put them in the air fry for about 15-20 minutes. And this is what it looked like. How nice does that look? Look at how lovely that looks. Eggy bread with oozing cheese, shredded ham hock sandwich. Oh, lovely. It tasted so good. So, my day wasn't over yet. I then went on to make um, a sandwich for work tomorrow. Never ever take a sandwich to work anymore. Um, but I wanted to use some of my bread up um, I had some beef in the fridge as well that I wanted to use so I thought you know what I'm gonna make a sandwich you can have three slices for your healthy extra B so I literally put a thin layer of mayonnaise on each slice I'll use mayonnaise light 
I've tried the lighter than light, but there's no point having it. Doesn't taste of anything. What's the point? <laughs> um, so these were beef slices. Put those in and slice tomato. It'd make a nice change having a sandwich at work. Might even treat myself to a bag of crisps to go with them. So I loaded it up with tomato, sprinkled on some pepper, Cut them into a nice little triangle. And I finished the day on nine sins, so not too bad. But I also got this out of the freezer for tomorrow night. Um, it would just be me having dinner tomorrow. So I got this out of the freezer. Ignore the frost on the top. That doesn't bother me. Does that put other people off? I don't know. But I've no idea what this is. I put things in the freezer. Not a clue. I think it's probably a soup. Who knows?